Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is the quick look and review of the latest build of Windows 10 for 19H1, which is the next version of Windows for uh, March, around March of 2019. And uh, build 18298 was released yesterday, December the 10th, um, in um, late, kind of not too late, but later in the day, a, a rare Monday build if you want. And um, of course it installed well, but it was a little long. Actually what was long was not the install itself. It was extremely long to download, which is one of the first times I've seen that. So it kind of was stuck at downloading. I think it took more than an hour to download for some reason. Uh, it was very, very weird. I don't know if it was some kind of connectivity issue or uh, Microsoft service, but uh, it was very, very long. And that, that's what made the install long because it's how the install seemed to be pretty much at the same pace that I'm used to. Uh, normal uh, pace for this machine. What's new in this build? Well, first of all, they are c consolidating the sign-in options. You know, they were kind of spread apart and it was kind of complicated maybe for some people to find out. Now, when you actually go to your accounts and check for the sign-in options, you'll notice that one new entry is there now. You can actually use a security key. So using a physical key that can log you into your applications. This is becoming more and more popular because physical keys for security actually offer a much better and secure experience on computers and on devices. So it's really getting popular for that reason. Other things, well, look at that new icon for File Explorer. It's uh, been redone to look better on the um, light theme. Um, it wasn't it was there, but it wasn't as obvious as it is now on the light team. So that's, of course, a good thing. Uh, now it's a better experience uh, for the light team, a little something different. And they're kind of, you know, modernizing the icons if you want. One of the interesting things also is the downloads folder. Well, now, if you have not set a default, when you download a file, you've probably noticed most of the time we don't change the name for anything else. And we end up with a name like, you know, abc 13 x 86dexe or whatever. And it's like, what did I download and where is what I downloaded? Because you just don't know what file it is. Especially if you're like me, we tend to keep a lot of stuff in the download folder. Well, by default, if you haven't changed it, it will now be by date modified. So that means you will now have the latest um, files that you've downloaded at the top, which will make it easier for you to um, find whatever you have downloaded because it'll all be at the top all the time. But if you have yourself modified this, if you have modified it manually so that it's another way of staying in order, that will not be changed, for example. So if you have made some changes, it's not going to change anything. A new option before you had to, you know, like unpin uh, tiles and uh, then as you unpin the tiles, you could, uh, you know, remove a group or so on. Well, now you can actually right click on a group and have unpin group from start. Doing so will remove the full group from there, which might be an easier and faster way for you to remove and clean up everything that could be in the start menu. Uh, there's a faster and more accurate touch keyboard. So um, they are, you know, playing with that. There's console updates. Um, when you open the property space of any console window, you now have a new terminal tab containing several new settings and experimental features. The uh, UTF-8 encoding, they've made some improvements to the way Notepad handles encoding. And actually, Notepad has some updates here. It's kind of funny because I'm, you know, I am sure that maybe some people have used Notepad. I do from time to time for a very quick copy-paste feature or something I would like to do. But uh, it's interesting. Now, when you actually type something in the uh, Notepad, there's a little star. So let's let's just, just change this. Let's uh, restart the notepad again. So notepad, notepad. And uh, so you see here, there's no little star before untitled, but if I start typing something, 
a little star has appeared and that means you haven't saved your changes so okay you know it's there and you'll know you can also now send feedback through the help menu clicking to send feedback so there's a few little changes here also uh, additional support for um, um, you know keyboard shortcuts for example control shift n um, will give you a new notepad window so here i got another one now open just by the using the keyboard shortcuts and stuff um, so all sorts of little things notepad can now open save files with a pad that is longer than 260 characters that was left behind from legacy notepad of a long time ago um, it, they fixed a bug where the count lines were incorrectly the document. Um, so, you know, a few little things and changes of Notepad if you're using that. Narrator has some improvements, including, especially, especially. Uh, so if I uh, try uh, Windows Control N for, note, for the uh, narrator, it uh, actually will give you a new menu. So, for example, if I turn on narrator here, there's a new menu that appears and here it goes. So this is the narrator settings window. So now you have this new uh, narrator settings page, which wasn't there before to help you basically um, kind of, you know, tweak all the settings. Lots of improvements in verbosity. There's URL uh, reading now with new commands and, and so on. There's, uh, you know, easier reading of different things, including uh, tables and menus and all sorts of uh, uh, interesting aspects here. So if you use that, you might enjoy the fact that it's actually going to improve the way that it works. There's a um, bigger and brighter cursors introduced, new cursor sizes and colors in the ease of access under the vision. So um, if you uh, go into the uh, ease of access in the vision and go to uh, cursor and pointer, there are some new options for, uh, for people to choose different pointers, different colors of pointers, the size of pointers and all of that so that if you have some difficulty, uh, some visual or you know um, difficulty on your screen well it'll be easier for you to maybe uh, make this experience better so i think that's that's good also the uh, setup experience if you install from an iso or an image and you run the setup now you will have a better uh, install experience it's going to kind of explain a little better what's going to happen with the setup you're going to do they're updating the feedback hub to version 18.11 so they've uh, kind of they're tweaking that. So when you get to here, you'll up, need to update your different apps. Uh, so there's uh, snippet sketch updates also. Uh, I'll look at that separately. We'll uh, go to these uh, each of these apps in a separate video on the Insider channel if you want to learn more. Game bar update experience. So there's new gallery experience in game bar. Without ever leaving your game, you can now view screenshots and videos taken with the game bar. So that's pretty good. Of course, lots of bug fixes in here. A lot of them, a really big list. Known issues, of course. So uh, there are a few things that might actually not go very well. So that's pretty much what's happening uh, with this new build. And uh, hopefully it's installing well for you. And hope that you enjoy your experience. If you enjoy um, my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.